Na msarekta mtazamaji na karibisha tena katika ijumaya tare 27 e, mwezi wa januari. E, karibu tena katika kipindi chako madhiri marithia cha sport sugu kumbuka. Hapa ndipo e, tunaangazia maswala ambayo na athiri wanadada moja kwa moja. E, kwa hiyo kabla ya hayo e, tutufuate tu, tu, katika mitandao zetu za kijami at GBS TV Africa. Uh, YouTube utatipata hapo live tutakuwa live na vile vile Facebook uh, GBS TV Africa Twitter uh, GBS TV Africa mitandao zote na pia mimi utanipata ekadeli aita mitandao zote na hashtag siku zote ni ekadeli na michezo kumbuka hashtag ya leo ni sport sugu e, kwa hiyo tuzungumze uh, kuhusiana uh, kipindi cha leo tutakuwa tunaangazia zaidi uh, safari ya michezo uh, safari ya michezo E, katika ulingo wa netball ama mpira wa pete e, kumbuka kwamba nitakupa taswira kidogo e, uki, katika maisha kuna vitengo ambavyo unafaa kuviishi e, katika kipindi ambacho unazaliwa ambapo uko mtoto unafaa ku, kuishi kitoto kujua mambo ya kitoto zaidi e, kipindi ambacho uko a, kijana kumbuka unaishi ujana na hapo ndipo E, katika michezo a, vijana wanajihusisha sana na michezo e, kama ni netball kama ni, ni football hapo ndipo misuli a, ipo joto misuli ndo ipo joto na miaka 30 ambapo unaoa ama unaolewa e, hapo ndipo unaitwa baba na haswa tutaangazia kipindi ambacho uko kijana kumbuka kama we ni kijana na unajitosa una katika ulingo wa sporti ni miaka kumi ambazo unafaa kuvichukua lakini leo uh, leo na kuletea watu ambao wamepiga miaka takriban 30 e, katika ki, katika spoti ya netball ama mpira wa pete watu ambao wameishi kucheza mpaka sasa hivi miaka sitini na tano bado wanatarabadi ujana wao wanazidi kucheza kwa hiyo tutazungumza nao uh, kabla ni niwakaribishe wenzangu tutumie arafa katika 2 double one double four e, tuzungumzie zaidi je ni mchezo upi ambao unata unataka tuwalete e, hapa katika kipindi chako cha sports sugu ambapo ambao haufahamu e, katika uh, upande wa kina dada kwa hiyo kumbuka tumeangazia kabadi tukaangazia koko e, tukaangazia netball kwa upande wa kina dada kwa hiyo una fursa ya kutu ya kututumia rafa kwa hiyo acha niwakaribishe wageni wangu siku ya leo na nakuambia ni vijana ambao wanacheza na wana miaka 65 mm, veteran e, kwa kizungu vikongwe ambao wamecheza sana kwa hiyo tuanze na upande wangu huu uh, vipi salama mm -hmm. yeah. kwa majina jitambulishe kwa uh, watazamaji kwa majina anaitwa Dorothy Omondi mm -hmm. mimi ni mchezaji wa netball mm -hmm. uh, kuanzia mm -hmm. 1980 mm. lakini wakati nilikuwa shule si kupenda netball mm. kwa sababu netball wakati hiyo ilikuwa mchezo ambaye mm. ilikuwa very rough mm -hmm. na mimi nilikuwa mwanariadha ha ulikuwa mwanariadha uh, nilikuwa nakimbia mita mia moja na mm. mita mia mbili mm -hmm. hata kuandikwa na Kenya Power nilianza mm -hmm. na Kenya Power mm -hmm. niliandikwa kama mwanariadha uliandikwa kama mwanariadha niliandikwa kama mwanariadha mm -hmm alafu kulikuwa na kulikuwa na mazoezi hapo mm. Stima Club mm -hmm. na timu ya netball mm. walikuwa na mchezo ya urafiki na NYS NYS wakati hiyo coach wa Stima Club alikuwa anaitwa Madam Rose Cheche mm -hmm. ndio Cheche akaja akauliza aka coach wetu athletics mm -hmm. tulikuwa wasichana watatu mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu timu ya netball ya Kenya Power walikuwa wachache wakati huo wa friendly mm -hmm. Sasa wakani wakati huo wakaja akaongea na Francis Mwanzia mm. ambaye alikuwa coach wa athletics. Naam. Kama tunaweza kwenda kumsaidia mm -hmm. kumeka timu. Kumeka timu ya, ya netball. Sasa. Hapo Sa ndipo ukajitosa kwa netball. Hapo ndio nikaanza nikacheza netball nikaona ah kumbe ni mchezo mzuri sana. Aa. Na ilikuwa 1980 mwezi wa tatu. Naam, mwaka 1900 1980. Thamanini. na thani siku nimezaliwa yeah. na vijana wangu wengi sana ambapo ambao wanazalisha kipindi bado hako wanazaliwa tutarejea hapo katika safari yako yes, kuna huo kuna mwingine upande wangu wa kulia pia amjambo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. kwa jina naitwa Lilian Nupi mm -hmm. 
mi nilicheza mchezo nyingi sana nikiwa primary secondary hata wakati ni mazaa secondary nikiingia college endelea mm. kucheza mm. na nikaanza kuchezea Kenya Post and Telecommunication mm -hmm. kuna wakati ilikuwa inaitwa East Africa no. kutoka East Africa ikakuwa Kenya Post and Telecommunication mm -hmm. baadaye ikakuja ika divide into two mm -hmm. na nikabaki Telecom Kenya no. E, kwa hiyo kumbuka Lilian amekuwa hapa e, katika kipindi chetu kicha ingine akizungumzia netboli e, kwa upande wa kina dada na kuna sauti ambao walikuwa akipaza sana e, kuhusiana na mchezo wa netboli ambao haufahamiki hauchezi sana yuko hapa katika harakati hizo e, za kuuza netboli kuhakikisha kwamba e, tumeshuhudia netboli kichezwa humu nchini ye pamoja na Dorothy lakini leo tutazungumzia zaidi safari yao imekuwa vipi katika ulimu wa michezo mpaka sasa hivi wanapiga mazoezi utashangaa mimi ba, mia, mimi miaka 20 na zaidi 25 zaidi bado eh nishamaliza ni eh, kucheza na jitosa katika mambo mengine kwa hiyo sitazungumzia sana kwa hiyo acha tuanze na Dorothy Dorothy kumbuka umeanza kucheza mwaka 1000 uh, 1980s netball. Eh ukaja netball. Hapo mm. ulikuwa umetuma umetujuza kidogo kwamba ulikuwa manariatha. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ulikuwa umeanza uh, ku, kukimbia miaka ngapi? Nikiwa hivi? nikiwa primary mm. ambaye nilikuwa nasoma nilikuwa nasoma baba dogo primary school mm -hmm. hiyo. Mm. I was an athlete. Mm -hmm. Nikafanya KCP. Mm -hmm. Nika join uh, Ngara Girls. Mm -hmm. Bado nilikuwa tu manariadha. Naam. Kumaliza hivi mm. wakati huo hizi mm. parastatal walikuwa na walikuwa na ajiri sana watu wa sports. Naam. Ndio one of the personnel mm -hmm. wa Kenya Power. Naam. Alikuja wakati huo tulikuwa na sports day. Aha. Ndio wakani sport hapo nikicheza na mm. mama Lona Hainga ambaye mm. sasa ni marehemu. Naam. Wakaja wakatukuta hapo lakini Lona alikuwa anataka walikuwa anataka watu wa netball. Mm -hmm. Lakini personnel manager wa Kenya Power kato alikuwa anaitwa Bibi Aluko mm -hmm. na kina Mwanzia walikuwa nataka watu wa athletics. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndio wakaniona tulikuwa na hiyo sports day mm -hmm. wakani sport. Mm -hmm. So nikawa join after kumaliza mitihani yangu ya mwisho. Mm -hmm. That was 1979. Naam. Pepa yangu ya mwisho ilikuwa CRE. Mm -hmm. Na tukambiwa tu yeah. tuingie kwa gari. Naam. Tukapelekwa Parklands. Parklands hapa kwa, kwa ofisi ya Kenya Power. Aha. Mi sikuwa nimejua ta town ilikuwa wapi ilikuwa mm. na leto na baba na mm. dropiwa tunaenda kwa sababu mm. ngara by the time ilikuwa day school. Yeah. Sasa hapo ndio tulikuwa mm. na nilipochukuliwa na Kenya Power mm. ilikuwa wakati wa personnel mm. manager alikuwa yeah. Luko mm -hmm. na chairman mm -hmm. alikuwa Ngini. Ngini. Eh. Mm -hmm. Na huyo Mathias Kayadi alikuwa finance manager Aha. the late now. Naam. Na Okoth Korombo alikuwa personnel mm -hmm. on kwa pande ya headquarter mm -hmm. steam by power headquarter mm -hmm. electricity house. Ah. So waliponiajiri mm -hmm. wakanipeleka steamer club. Steamer club. Mimi na msichana mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Rose Towet. Lakini baadaye Rose alienda. Mhm. Mm Mimi ndio nikabaki Kenya Power. Mm -hmm. Sasa vile nimesema 1980 wakati mm -hmm. uh, watu wa Rostima walikuwa na friend na NYS ndio Rose Cheche akatu approach coach wetu mm -hmm. ambaye ni Francis Mwansia mm -hmm. ndio tukawanikawacha athletics mm -hmm. nikarudi kwa netball kwa hiyo uliacha athletics ukajitosa kwa netball kwa netball in 1980 mm -hmm. kufika mwezi wa 4 mm -hmm. ilikuwa mwezi wa 4 mm -hmm. waka, waka game mchezo ilikuwa na kuru aha walikuwa wanaenda kuchagua game wakati kwa naitwa interprovincial mm. netball championship ndio nikachaguliwa ndio mm. nikakutana na dada yangu Lilian Lilian Anupi eh. kwa hiyo uh, kuna uh, wakati tulizungumza na Lilian Anupi mm. uh, wiki zilizopita ama ilikuwa mwaka jana mm. Lilian Anupi alituambia sije alianza riadha pia kama sikoseni ndio nilisema wakati nilikuwa primary mm. na secondary school mm. Unajua wakati huo ulikuwa unaruhusiwa kufanya mchezo mchezo zote. mingi sana. Ya, yeah, so mm -hmm. mimi nilikuwa nafanya zote. Mm -hmm. Lakini mwisho. Mhm. Mm Kwa sababu mimi nishasema mambo yangu mwisho nilima 
nikachagua netball netball eh, lakini hata volleyball mm. niliongoza mm-hmm. nikafika mbali sana na timu ya Kenya Post naam and telecommunication Aha. na leo tumekuja kuongea juu ya wazee mhm zilizopendwa zilizopendwa enzi eh, hizo eh, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. wakati huu mm-hmm. tulionelea kwamba mm-hmm. kwa kika watu wengi wachezaji wengi naam wame kufa juu ya kukosa kufanya mazoezi naam kabisa hata kuna vile wamekuwa na Mungu anawaita ama wanaenda mm-hmm unaona mwingine alikuwa anateseka na mm. gonjeka juu mm. nini yeah. so tumekuja kugundua kwamba mm. tuliwacha tu mchezo at once tukaanzia tukaingia uongozini naam sasa acha kufanya eh, mazoezi, mazoezi na kujihusisha eh. na michezo hapo so, ndipo tumeamua turudi tuanze kufanya mazoezi naam. na tumeona kweli mazoezi inatusaidia naam ndio sasa Mba. hawa mnakaa sana wachanga <laughs> mnakaa wachanga sana kwa hiyo kidogo lile ananupi tukirejea aki uh, uh, kitengo cha pili tutazungumzia zaidi ni kipi ambacho mmekuwa mkifanya ni kuhakikisha kwamba hamuathiriki uh, na haya marathi mambo kama hayo sasa hivi mnapiga zoezi miaka hizo sitini na tano kwenda juu mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mtatupa uh, suluhu yenu ya kuishi zaidi kwa hiyo tutapumua kidogo tukirejea uh, tutazamia swala hilo usikae mbali everywhere gbs Naam ndio sisi hawa mtazamaji kumbuka kutuzungumzia katika rafa 2144 tueleze ni mchezo upi unafaa ku, unataka kujua sana e, katika ulingo wa michezo katika upande wa kina dada. Kumbuka tumewaletea kabadi tukaleta koko sasa hivi tukaleta netiboli Uh, kando na football ama riatha ni mchezo upi mwingine ambao amba unataka kujua zaidi. Kwa hiyo leo kumbuka leo tunazungumzia a uh, michezo na wazee kumbuka uh, kule kufanya mazoezi fitness yao e, katika michezo wamekuwa kidumisha hata baada ya kustaafu bado wanacheza na wanajihusisha na michezo watatupa uh, suluhu yao e, ya, ku, ya kuendelea kucheza zaidi uh, tu kianza na Dorothy uh, ni jambo lipi ambao umekurutini yako ama ratiba yako kila asubuhi ukiamka Uje kuna kuna ratiba yako tu ya mazoezi mm. Mm, ya kila siku. Asante sana. Mm. Uh, ratiba yangu ya kila siku asubuhi mm. nikiamuka. Mm-hmm. Lazima nitembee. Mm-hmm. Nitembee distance mm-hmm. kwa sababu vile naishi hapo magreni natembea labda paka city stadium mm-hmm. na kurudi nikisharudi mm-hmm. nafanya exercise yangu kidogo. Mm-hmm. Exercise unaweza kufanya pale popote. Mm-hmm. Labda ukiwa kwa bathroom yako mm-hmm. unaweza kufanya exercise ukiwa mm-hmm. kwa bedroom yako unafanya mm-hmm. exercise. Ndio niko fit mpaka saa hii. Mm-hmm. Inanisaidia sana hasa kutembea. Mm-hmm. Na wakati labda kama kama kuna hizi games za uh, inter insurances mm-hmm. tuko na hizo teams we coach them mm-hmm. and you have to be fit. Mm-hmm. Lazima ukue fit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Asijui uh, Lilia na Nupi umekuwa katika ulingo takriban miaka 30 na zaidi. Ni kipi ni kipi hiyo consistency ya kufanya mazoezi ilitoka wapi? Tangia umestaafu ama ukicheza je ruaza yenu ya ama ile pattern ya kufanya mazoezi ilikuwa vipi mpaka sasa hivi? E, tulikuwa tumezoea kufanya mazoezi mm-hmm. na mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu mm-hmm. cooperation zetu mm-hmm. zilikuwa zinatupatia muda mrefu sana kufanya mazoezi. Naam. Kuna kati tunaanza half day mm-hmm. ama siku nusu ya siku mm-hmm. saa 8 mpaka jioni. Mm-hmm. Kuna kati wanatupatia the whole day. Mm-hmm. 
So most of the time tuko tumezoea mazoezi. Naam. Kufanya mazoezi. So mm -hmm. wakati tulipoacha ku, kuwa active mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. tukaanza kuwa coaches, mm -hmm. umpires, facilitators. Mm -hmm. Lazima ufanye mazoezi pia. Uwezi piga frimbi kama uko fit. Kama uko fit. Lazima, lazima. ufanye mazoezi. Na tena mm -hmm. unapofundisha mm -hmm. lazima u demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Ni uwezi demonstrate right. kama uko fit kwa sababu mm -hmm. unazaanza kuruka tu na demonstrate na uanguke no. mbele ya wachezaji ama no. watoto. Eh. So lazima uamuke asubuhi, mm -hmm. you stretch, mm -hmm. you ufanye mazoezi, mm -hmm. ndio ingie kwa bafu uoge utoke mm -hmm. ama jioni. Mm -hmm kama ukwenda ku coach uh -huh. make sure ume stretch umefanya kitu uh -huh. you can even run around your coffee table uh -huh. kama una space kiwanja naam lakini mimi unfortunately niko na kiwanja hapo hivyo ah. na kimbianga hapo uh -huh. yeah so you must be fit uh -huh. and then you avoid unnecessary drinking uh -huh. because wachezaji wengi wanapoacha kucheza mm. hata wana, wakati wanacheza mm. wanazoea kunywa pombe kabisa utakuta hao wanapenda pombe sana mm. na nyama choma mm. they, they don't end up well mm. so wanapoacha kucheza wanaendelea kunywa kunywa and they don't, they're not doing anything yeah, awafanye mazoezi yote hawaendi mm. kokote mm. hata unakuta wamepata magonjwa mbalimbali yeah. because mm. your bones your veins nerves used to mm to running stretching <coughs> now you don't stretch uh -huh. but you're just there you go to hapo uh, go stagnant so, funny chachacha yeah. mm. it came a time two years ago uh -huh. but we have not been very active uh -huh. some of us train uh -huh. with the teams we play even uh -huh. sometimes we play for our teams ah yeah we find there's a team uh, -huh. uh you have a team uh -huh. and they are not doing well uh -huh. you feel ah today i'll play center today i'll play so we play uh -huh. Then we decided now we have our own yeah. team for yeah. we we have been calling ourselves golden oldies now yeah. golden oldies yeah. ndio kwa hiyo mko na team yeah. naitwa golden oldies yeah. ah ama wazee wa kazi ah wazee wa kazi but sisi tunajiita yeah. bila me twitter yeah. veterans veterans, veterans. Yeah. do how so mm -hmm. good luck yeah. the ministers have also come in because they have realized mm. you know let me say it the truth is mm. most of the footballers mm. having a lot of problems mm. so it came to their notice and then they have now supported us uh -huh. that we can train uh -huh. and if we, are, we want to go out to play uh -huh. they can support us uh -huh. but they have not started fully uh -huh. you see kongea uh -huh. ni rais na kutenda na kutenda jambo hilo ni yeah so that's why uh -huh. we have come here uh -huh. to tell the the country the people that veterans we are training Naam. and we need so much mm -hmm. and we thank mheshimiwa mm -hmm. mbatia Naam. was given us a place to train because we have been having a problem kwa hiyo mmeshapata kiwanja yeah, wakati ulikuja siku uh, ile ulikuja ulisema kwamba hamna kiwanja chochote uh, eh, lakini nadhani nilisema ametupatia na anajaribu kututengezea anajaribu kuwatengenezea eh, lakini hajamaliza hajamaliza eh, bado mm. aha lakini ni hatu nzuri mmepata kiwanja kwa hiyo tukiwa na Nairobi tukubati tumepata kiwanja Nairobi sasa yeah, sasa mheshimiwa Mbatia mm. and the other management mm. uh, above him mm. are supporting So uh -huh. it's on the, uh -huh. on the in the process. Naam. Yeah. Uh -huh. Itapokuwa iko ready uh -huh. tutaangaika. Naam. Kwenda kuomba, kwenda uh -huh. kuuliza can we train here? Ah. But most of us uh -huh. we are lucky because we have teams. Uh -huh. So we train them. But these teams uh -huh. do not train as we used to train. Naam. They train after work. Uh -huh. And after work they reach in the field maybe. Uh -huh. We train for only 10 uh -huh. 20 minutes. Yeah. Na katika mazoezi yeah. kuna vyakula ambavyo unavichukua yeah. unavikula kuna vile vyakula maalum e, sasa hivi kumbuka unajihusisha uko na mko na team naitwa yeah. golden oldies. golden oldies yeah. ama veterans yeah. kuna vyakula maalum ambavyo huwa ukiamka asubuhi kuna unakunywa maziwa peke yake ikifika saa kumi unachukua uh, logda matunda mbili tatu Dorothy. Ya, yeah, unajua mm. uh, katika sisi mm. kama wachezaji mm. 
uh, especially inaanza kusema kama sisi watu wa netball kwa sababu nilishia watch athletics sasa nitaongea bari ya netball mm -hmm. asubuhi ukiamka ukienda mm -hmm. okay, unaenda road work yako Naam. in the morning unaenda road work yes. ukirudi mm -hmm. lazima body cool ikisha cool mm -hmm. Then uh, lao unaweza ku brush your teeth mm -hmm. unaweza kuchukua chai kikombe moja mm -hmm. ama kikombe mbili mm -hmm. na katost yako kama iko hapa na kama yai yako because mm -hmm. unajua wakati ulikuwa unaenda road work mm -hmm. uli sweat naam umetoa chumvi mm -hmm. kwa mwili mm -hmm. na sukari kwa Naskari. mwili mm -hmm. so you have to take your tea mm -hmm. na sukari kidogo kama iko mm -hmm. na labda mayai yako kama iko unakula mm -hmm. nayo mm -hmm. then after that mm -hmm una unapumzika no. kwa sababu ulikuwa umeshia take your shower mm -hmm. umekuja kwa meza yako kuchukua kunywa chai yako mm -hmm. then after that unapumzika no. ukishapumzika mm -hmm. then you can do your work now okay eh uh -huh. uh -huh. unajua kwamba kwa, eh, sababu ambayo nimeuliza hilo swali uh, vijana wa enzi hizi tutapata kwamba kuna vyakula ambavyo wanavichukua kuna chipsi ama hizo viazi vya garamba ni, vi, ni vyakula ambavyo vina mafuta mingi pata wanakula nyama mambo ka sijui wewe eh na hata nyama choma juu mm -hmm. lile ananupi kuna vyakula ambavyo vime vimekuwa specified kwa mchezaji wakati wenu na sasa ya yeah, wakati wetu mm. kwamba hata sisi chips ni kwa very rare tukule chips naam hata sisi in the morning mm. tukiwa tuko camp mm -hmm. ama tukiwa wapi mm -hmm. Kama unaweza manage tu ukule vizuri mm -hmm. ugali mm -hmm. ugali ukunywe maji moto ukunywe mm -hmm. ukisha maliza vitu vingine moni mm -hmm. ukule tu ugali uende ufanye vitu zako kiingia mazoezi mm -hmm. uweze hata tamani hizi vitu kama chips naam na hizi chips kwa kwa kika si nzuri kwa wachezaji naam na sisi tunakula tu ugali mm -hmm. ama na mboga ama chapati and so on mm -hmm. ama rice mm -hmm. una kuna wale mbia kwa kule rice mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. na ni vizuri upunguze vitisi junk food. Naam. Eh yeah, hata hizi kuku zinafurahi wangu tu bibi. Mhm. Mm ni kuku ndio lakini si poa si atuzoe. Mhm. Ah hizi vitu mnaendanga kula hizi mapizza nini nini. Naam. Asisaidi mwili sana. Mhm. Mm yeah so ukikula greens mm -hmm. uko unakuwa strong sana. Aha. Eh. Nzuri. Alafu uzoe kunywa maji warm. Maji warm, maji yeah. sana. Sana sana, sana, sana na maji sana sana. Mhm. Yeah. Upende hizi vitu za kienyeji. Mhm. Mm yeah. Naam. Vitu za kienyeji zinasaidia. Naam. Alafu si tu usikunywe pombe mm. ama usikule nyama, but isikuwe kwa wingi. <laughs> isikuwe kwa wingi. Yeah. Kwa hiyo unapunguza kiwango. Mm. Ah, nakumbuka nyaka zetu ama siku hizi mm. vijana wanatumia sana ah, zile kuna gym kuna gym mm -hmm. ambapo kuna vyuma ambapo unavinua unakimbia pale kando na enzi zenu uh, Dorothy wakati huo ukianza kucheza netball labda kulikuwa na specific gym ama mlikuwa tu mnafanya zoezi uh, kikawaida tu uh, 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 enzio kama mm. tukiwa kwa hasa tukiwa kwa national team mm. tukisha toka road work mm enye kama si kwa tuna train huko Langata Naam. prison training college ndio mm -hmm. kwa train hapo sana Naam. na sana sana alikuwa tunaletoa huyu trainer Naam. wa prison Naam. wa taekwondo wa taekwondo eh alafu gym tulikuwa tunapelekwa gym mm, oh, oh. eh for ah. building up okay. lakini si ile vyuma zito zito ndio hiyo eh ile inatumiza sana mm -hmm kama kulikuwa na nyingine ya kusukuma mguu ni as if mm -hmm. you are cycling okay. mm -hmm. so to build tight na stomach mm -hmm. na pia kulikuwa na ball mm -hmm. inaitwa medicine ball mm -hmm. unatupa mm -hmm. so that could build nini muscles, muscles. lakini si tu ndio tunapeleka kwa gym sana mm -hmm. kwa sababu huyo coach wa taekwondo mm -hmm. alikuwa anatuambia with the as a netball mm -hmm you know to kifanywa hizo vitu mingi uh, those heavy things mm -hmm. we might build muscle side aha eh yeah. oh, nzuri kwa hiyo Lilian Anupi yes. uh, nakumbuka sasa hivi mko na golden oldies kumbuka mchezo wa netball unachukua dakika kama 45 
kama wanawa wanawa okay. wanawa kwa hiyo mpaka sasa hivi bado mnachukua one hour e, kando na hapo awali ndio kwa sababu mm. e, tumekuwa tuna train lakini tunacheza tournament mm. tournament unajua teams zinakuwa nyingi tunacheza 15 15 ama 20 20, 20, 20. but last saturday we tested ourselves ah. one hour One and hour. we played one hour ah. and we beat young stars <laughs> young stars dandora mm. dandora yeah. netball team ah yeah kwa hiyo mlitumia muda ulikuwa ni sali moja yeah. na mkacheza na vijana yeah. mkawashinda yes ah nzuri mm. kwa hiyo uh, ile ruaza kum, kumbuka wanadada sana sana ni wadada, wanadada ambao mnajihusisha nao yeah. eh, katika netball mm je ni jambo lipi ambao huwa mna recommend sana katika kumbuka nyinyi ni makocha mm. e, na kuna ule mchakato ambao uh, mwa, msichana mwanadada katika michezo anafaa kufuata kumbuka anaweza pata akapata mimba akajiondoa kwa michezo mnafanya vipi i want to clarify something mm -hmm. netball squeeze inachezwa both men and women men and women yeah mm -hmm. but okay. when it comes to women mm -hmm. when you are pregnant uh -huh. you are not allowed to play uh -huh. but you can keep on keeping fit mm -hmm. for the past four, five, four months four mm months -hmm. but thereafter if mm -hmm. you want to continue mm -hmm. it's at your own risk mm -hmm. your own risk if anything happens to your baby mm -hmm. you don't blame your coach or your management mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are people who mm -hmm. can play even with eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Even there's a lady in uh, Kenya Post and Telecommunication. Mm -hmm. She did hurdles. Mm -hmm. 400 meters. meters hurdles. Nandos, when yeah. she was eight and a half months pregnant. Ah. And she broke the Kekoso record. Oh, Ke -ke 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 Kekoso -ke -ke record. Yeah. And uh, after the games mm -hmm. We didn't know that the MD noticed. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, "Call it the coach and call the coach." Mm -hmm. I saw some lady running, and I think she's not supposed mm -hmm. to run. Mm -hmm. um, but she was given a, a reward, mm -hmm. and she was told to go for a, a, mm -hmm. a trip. Mm -hmm. But uh, we don't allow. It's not. It is not allowed. Mm -hmm tucheze ukiwa na mimba. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo uh, nyaka zenu Dorothy kumbuka miaka ishirini. Ulisema ulijitoa katika uh, yeah. kukimbia. Mm. Ukajitosa katika mpira wa pete netball. Yeah. Uh, ulicheza muda wa miaka mingapi katika ile competition sasa competitive uh, uh, netball. Ulicheza miaka mingapi hivi? Uh, hata nikiongezea juu ya hii mtu akiwa mjamzito hawezi mm -hmm. kucheza. Mm -hmm. Nafikiri dada Lili anaweza kumbuka kikoso ya nakuru. Mm -hmm. I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Hata nikacheza nikiwa na miezi saba na nusu. Saba na nusu. nusu. Ah. Na, na hakuna mtu alijua. Kwa hiyo mwezi mmoja tulijua mwezi mwezi. lakini hata tukutaka <laughs> kugonga. <laughs> Naam. Yeah. Sasa ya yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Umeuliza habari ya miaka zile nimecheza netball. Naam. Kuanzia 1980 mm -hmm. ndio nilichaguliwa kwa national team. Mm -hmm. Mpaka 87. 87. Eh, mm -hmm. nikiwa center player international. Naam. Center player. Center player. Mm -hmm. Kwa umecheza kama center player. Nilicheza kama center player. Ah. Ingawa wakati niliwacha netball niliwacha rather ni join netball mm -hmm. nilikuwa defender. Mm -hmm. Goal defender. Goal defender. Ah. Ndio nichaguliwa kwa national team. Mm -hmm. Si ndio kwa tumetoka provincial Kakamega. Mm -hmm. no. Kukuja na tukienda na Kuru. Mm -hmm. Tukaenda interprovincial hapo sasa ndio walikuwa walikuwa wanachagua wale watakilisha mm -hmm. nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na. Nika defend msichana mmoja alikuwa prison murefu the tallest mm -hmm. lady. Ndio nikachaguliwa kwa national team kama defender. Ah. Lakini tulipoenda kwa camp mm -hmm. kwa la train of breweries. Mm -hmm wakati huo Kenya Brothers bado ilikuwa ndio uh -huh. wakati huo tulikuwa na coach Anna Odore uh -huh. <coughs> she, was, she was the Kenya Prison Netball coach uh -huh. akanitoa kwa defense akanileta kwa center uh -huh. na hapo ndio nikaanza kucheza kama center player uh -huh. kufika that na 87 hiyo uh -huh. nimesema uh -huh. tukapata ajali 
tukienda kucheza na kuru meja madoka cup na nilipata fracture kwa fiuma hata tulipelekwa na ivasha hapo coach wetu akakufia hapo hawa coach the late Joyce Okila na hapo ndiyo sasa nikawacha netball so mm. national team nilicheza for seven years mm. kama center player mm-hmm. kufika hiyo mwaka 87 mwezi wa 11 mm-hmm. ilikuwa saa saba na nusu mm-hmm. ndio tukapata ajali tukienda na kuru mm-hmm. na hapo ndio vile mchezo wangu uliisha mm-hmm. nikaanza kuwa kama coach kama coach sasa na na facilitator mm-hmm. So up to now mm-hmm. nimekuwa coach mm-hmm. ndio tulionelea mm-hmm. kukuwa tu coach ndio why Zuri. can't we form a team mm-hmm. kama gold, golden oldies muendelee kucheza tukaanza tukaanza mm-hmm. tukafika wakati mwingine tena tuka break mm-hmm. ndio tena juzi tukakaa mm-hmm. pamoja mm-hmm. ndio tukaona tuanze team ya mm-hmm. veterans mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, veterans golden mm. oldies mm. nzuri sana kwa hiyo kuvunjika kwa mwiko si sio mwisho wa kusonga ugali eh, yeah. bado mnaupika sasa hivi hata miaka zikiwa zimesonga mm. bado mnazidi kucheza na yes. vile dada lile analisema mm. being a coach mm. you have to demonstrate mm. i can play nacheza hata vile nilipona uh-huh. nilikuwa kiwanja i'm playing hata hiyo you can kama play. center yeah i'm still center player center player okay. Ama GA squeeze it like a seven seven all seven mm-hmm. seven all over seven, seven round ah we have seven positions <coughs> you board. can play center you yeah. can play GA mm-hmm. you can play VA you can play VD mm-hmm. you have to rotate mm-hmm. so that in una case straight mm-hmm. eh lazima una demonstrate kama ume, ume coach uko na player mm-hmm. umempeleka kama wing defend mm-hmm. hard defend hiyo vizuri yeah. you have to demonstrate kumonyesha mm-hmm the way mm-hmm. that player is supposed to play naam ndio sababu umesikia lazima we have to know all seven positions all seven positions mm-hmm. kwa hiyo unazifahamu zote jinsi mchezaji anafaa kucheza hapa na, na pale na eh, pale eh, majukumu makubwa hayo kwa hiyo zoezi mmeipiga kuipiga mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tukirejea tuta, tutazungumza zaidi eh, kuhusiana na ukocha sasa mambo ambayo umekuwa mkifanya katika mchakato um, wenu wa kuwa kocha wa netball na mambo ambayo mnatarajia kuyafanya na mambo ambayo mnayafanya kwa sasa hivi na mipango ya netball tuambie je kuna ligi ambayo itakuja ama ipo kumbuka kuna world cup south africa cape town ambayo inaanza julai 28 itamalizika agosti eh, tare nane hivi kwa hiyo atatuambia atatu zaidi kwa hiyo tapumua kidogo kisha eh, tukirejea E, tutazama na vijana wetu wa miaka 65 na, na zaidi. everywhere gbs na mtazamaji Kumbuka leo tunazungumzia uh, wazee wa kazi wazee ambao wanazidi kucheza na zaidi wamekuwa ma, wamekuwa wachezaji katika lingo lingo mbalimbali mbali, riatha wakajitosa netiboli uh, Dorothy huyu akatujuza uh, kumbuka kutuzungumzia katika tu double one double four tuambie ni mchezo upi tena tutakuletea kama netball tumeleta eh, kokon tumeleta kabadi mchezo ambao huifahamu zaidi na jinsi ya kucheza e, kwa hiyo nitarejea kwa Lilian na Nupi e, kumbuka ukiwa mchezaji uh, mind yako inakuambiaga ukishamaliza una staff unarudi nyumbani na unafanya mambo mengine. Kuna safari hii ya mpito ambapo unatoka kutoka kwa mchezaji hadi kwa kocha. Sijui kwako ilikuwa vipi. 
asante transition mm. oh mm -hmm. nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu mm. nilianza kukochi nikiwa mchezaji mchezaji eh nikawa mm -hmm. coach player naam nilipewa hiyo nafasi mm -hmm. na Kenya Post and Telecom Kenya na Telecom mm -hmm. so nilianza coach nikiwa tu mchezaji so mm -hmm. tulipomaliza mm -hmm. ama sasa ikawa sasa tuchezi ile active mm -hmm. netball mm -hmm niliendelea tu na coach. Mm -hmm. Na coaching pia ni mzuri. Naam. Because una una yani mm -hmm. unaendelesha watoto. Mm -hmm. Unasemanga this is my product. Naam. This is my product. Kabisa. Hata sasa hizi vile tuna coach mm -hmm. eh, international schools. Mhm. Mm Mimi wana coach primary mm -hmm. na secondary. Naam. So najivunyanga watoto wangu wa secondary Naam. wa primary wakienda hizi national schools yani secondary secondary so wengine wanaenda kupiga filimbi na kuchukua mtoto amekurukia hey coach we here unasikia unasikia hey, unasema this is my product this is my product naam hata wengine tunapokoch wanaendelea unashukuru unafurahia at least you are brought up somebody mm -hmm. to play mm -hmm. unamwambia cheza kuliko vile mimi nilicheza naam Yeah, so ile shida iko wachezaji wa squeeze. Yeah. Okay, mtoto anamaliza shule. Mm -hmm. Ana pale anaenda mm -hmm. because corporations zilikuwa zina support sana sana wakati sana, sana, sana watoto. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa anga mm, <coughs> ya mwisho ya mchezo yeah. ball games. Mm -hmm. My team managers coaches tuko huko. Mm -hmm. Tunangangana kutafuta wachezaji. Squeeze hakuna. Mm -hmm. Hamna kabisa. Sasa wachezaji wanatafuta. Mm -hmm. But ile weakness na wako nayo. Mm -hmm wanapotafuta wanapokupigia simu mm -hmm. nitaputia timu mm -hmm. unamwambia nitakutafutia timu mm -hmm. na hizi timu hakuna vile utakaa mm -hmm. uko na nani utakaa naye mm -hmm. anatafuta mtu akaa naye mm -hmm. hata mimi nimekaa na wachezaji wengi sana mm -hmm. apart from when niliona wanaanza kufanya vitu vibaya kwa nyumba nikasema mm -hmm. sasa sitaki kukaa na wasichana tena kwa nyumba mm -hmm. so unamtafutia atakaa wapi mm -hmm ara na hiyo menipeleka hakuna allowance nzuri zi na their problems they are after money aha eh. kwa hiyo changamoto Changam wewe ni kocha si ndio mm. na unafunza hawa vikembe hawa vijana eh. changamoto ambayo umepata uh, ni mmoja kwamba wanataka sana pesa wanapenda sana pesa mm -hmm na pia vilabu sasa zimekuwa chache vilabu vimekuwa chache na tena hizi vilabu ziko hawaandiki mm -hmm. watu wana wa support tu na allowance wakicheza na allowance mm, wakicheza tu kwa hiyo hakuna mkataba ambao wanaandikisha eh, na mchezaji eh. mm -hmm. sasa hiyo ndio shida tuko nayo mm -hmm. ndio hata ndio teams ziko chache siku hizi si kama zamani corporation zilikuwa zina compete na na kulikuwa na league sana kulikuwa na 90 teams naam yeah sasa hivi sasa hizi teams zimeenda chini mm -hmm. lakini tunashukuru Mungu ya kwamba umesikia mm -hmm ndakare ni minister na ngwe anataka kusupport michezo. Naam. So I hope ataw support vizuri mm -hmm. na wawe na marupurupu ya kuwa mm -hmm. maintain. Naam. Yeah. E, kando na na kuwa ko, na hizo changamoto ambazo Lilia na Nupi amezitaja kwamba mchezaji mdogo anataka sana pesa. Mm -hmm. Na wewe kama kocha kwa upande wa zoe, wa mazoezi. Mm -hmm. Unaona kama football ya zamani. Naam. Najua watu wanapenda football na wanajua football. Kabisa. Footballers wa zamani mm. wangepata hizi privileges za kwenda nje. Mm -hmm. Nakwambia Kenya ingekuanga na footballers. Eh. Footballers wa zamani ilikuwa nana mesko, nana nasomwa mande alisko mm -hmm. na nana alileta pass. Naam. Hawakuwa na rupu rupu na pesa nini mm -hmm. na kwenda nje. Lakini walikuwa na wasaizi mm -hmm. wana pass ya kwenda nje nini mm -hmm. na wajendelesh. Mm -hmm. Mtu anataka anacheza tu kidogo hivi. Mhm. Mm ana jina inaanza kuenda hivi. Mm -hmm. Anaingia mambo ya ra mm -hmm. changing ladies. Mm -hmm. Pombe nini? Naam. No. Game inamuisha hata kama bado yuko young. Aha. So mimi naomba watoto wetu waache kuingia kwa mambo ya mm -hmm. kufuta mabangi drugs. Mm -hmm. Na kupenda wanawake wengi. Except tu msichana mmoja mm -hmm. aoe. Mhm. Akae naye. Naam. No alafu endeleze game yake wataenda mbali naam yeah hiyo mm -hmm. ndio mambo ya unaona hata zamani mm -hmm. ungekuta msichana anakuta bangi mm -hmm. but what's the matter zamani mm -hmm. bangi ama hizi drugs hapana lakini maybe pombe angekunywa naam lakini sasa hizi hata wasichana wanakunywa wanaingia kwa madrugs mm -hmm. kwa nini mm -hmm. 
anakimbia kidogo ajamee kipeza kutosha hata kama umena nafasi na uh-huh. oh amepatikana na nini na nini uh-huh. watu wangejipenda tu wenyewe uh-huh. wacheze tu hiyo talanta talent mungu amewapatia talanta hiyo watumie vizuri uh-huh. tungekuwa tajiri Kenya uh-huh. kabisa uh-huh. Uh, Dorothy yeah. kuna ule wakati uki, tukikompea tukikompea ule wakati ambapo ulikuwa mchezaji na wachezaji ambao unawafunza sasa hivi ni difference iko vipi kwa upande wa mazoezi je wana kiwango chao kiko juu cha kufanya mazoezi ama wanachangamka e, kuliko wa zamani ama wa zamani ni wakali kuliko wa leo mm-hmm. yeah, asante sana uh, uh, enzi yetu mm-hmm. kama tulikuwa tunafanya mazoezi Naam. na wasahi mm-hmm. enzi yetu tulikuwa wazuri Naam. Vile umesikia dada Lila anamesema mm. she was uh, wakati alikuwa coach player. Naam. Sasa hii mm. unaweza kuwa na team. Mhm. Ah uh, wachezaji upeke yao huko. Mm-hmm. Kama coach waambie niki kama siko huyu mm-hmm. mchezaji achukue in charge. Mm-hmm. Hawa atamsikiza. Ah hawasikizi. Hawa patani. Mm-hmm. Lakini enzi yetu najua ulikuwa tunaingia kwa kiwanja mm-hmm. tunafanya physical fitness. Aha. Tunaanza tu mazoezi pekee yetu pekee yenu wenye bila ku bila eh, kuwa kuambia atikoche hajakuja uh, at nani hajakuja uh, tuna train peke yetu because by the time we, when we were train uh, training uh, uh, kazi yetu ilikuwa ni trophy trophy alawa sasa iko eh, alawa haiku kwa mm, trophy hata ukikuta wachezaji kama okay niseme like me nilikuwa nafanya na Kenya Railways ah atuko tunapata na Kenya Posta we were uh, rivals uh, uh, na kina Lilian. Na kina Lilian. Eh. We were rivals kwa sababu gani? Mm. Kikombe. Kikombe. Peke yake. And especially kekoso games. Mm. Keko. Tukikutana na hao mm. ilikuwa ga mchezo netball ilikuwa netball by the time. Mm. Watoto wetu wa sikuizi vile dada amesema mm. wameingilia first pesa. Hiyo mm. timu inaenda kuchezea atanilipa pesa ngapi? Naam. Hiyo you know, you ndio mentality, mentality yao. Naam. Haya, hiyo pesa okay. Mm baada ya mazoezi mm-hmm. badili wakae mm-hmm. wafanye postmortem yenyewe yeah. tumecheza tumechezaje mm-hmm. ama wameenda kwa room mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza wanataka kwenda kunywa pombe ndam wengine sasa wanavuta sigara hiyo yao mm-hmm. <laughs> ukija kama coach uku, wakute mm-hmm. unajua kama ameshavuta sigara mm-hmm. hakurecognize nice kama coach sasa anaongea tu vitu vyake mm-hmm. and wakati yetu coach alikuwa mtu muhimu hata ungeweza kujibiana na yeye kabisa aongeza kujibia na yeye. Mm. Kwa sababu mkiingia kwa kiwanja ku train muna train. Mm. Na kama wewe ni goigoi ata unajua coach anaanza kuuliza okay that position na uchezi vizuri. No. And we are going to meet mm. team fulani. Posta. Mm. Uko na hakika utabiti ule mchezaji wa hiyo team. Mm. No. Na hapo kwa hiyo position labda mko waine mnangangania. No. Kuna Ukwe, competition. Kuna competition no. kwa hiyo position. Ah ndio sababu ay, mimi upande wangu nasema mm. enzi yetu mm. tulikuwa first tulikuwa disciplined mm-hmm. ya pili tulikuwa na train mm. ya tatu tulikuwa natafuta trophy Aha. not money not money trophy i can remember uh, tulipoenda zanzibar mm. it was club championship mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunacheza na timu ya zambia mm. coach wa zambia mm akaniita. Mm-hmm. Kuniita, kunielezea vile wanaweza kutu kuni poach mm-hmm. niende Zambia, no. nikaenda kuambia mm-hmm. awachie lead. Mm-hmm. Na coach. Aha. Walinikataza tu hapo hapo. Walika. Na wachezaji wa sahi mm-hmm. hata akifanya arrangement na country fulani you can't know. No. Unaona tu agreement imesha kabisa manake wa. So wana. discipline Enzi. wise we were disciplined than them. Naam. No. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo upande wa discipline passion. The and passion. The passion. Hata katika mazoezi unajua katika mazoezi lazima pia kuwa na discipline. Of course. Eh, kati, of course. Ndiyo hiyo. Mm. Na ndiyo maana umefika hapa discipline ya mazoezi ni kuendeleza kufanya mazoezi zaidi. Hata hata mm. saa hii hebu niambie mm. uh, mchezaji wa 1980 mm. kama dada yangu Lilian hapa mm. na mimi na ile, wale veterans wale veterans. Mm. Na uko, uchukue wale watoto wamecheza 20, 2022 ama 2021 ama 2019 uh-huh. na sahi hata uh-huh. unaanza kuona miyanga than them 
kabisa because of this pain mm -hmm. yeah. Lilian Anupi utaambia vipi vijana wa leo ambao hawataki wako na tamaa zaidi ya pesa kuliko kucheza kwenyewe Tambia vijana wa leo mm. washukuru Mungu kwa sababu wakati huu mm. eh, Minister of Sports mm. na National Olympic Committee mm. wamekubali kusupport netball Aham. zamani netball the chairperson the secretary and treasurers mm. used to scout for money on their own mm. to take a team outside the country Aham. so most of the times we used to use clubs Aya. to represent the country because mm -hmm. the country clubs. the clubs had money mm. ninge waomba wapende kama wana mchezo mm -hmm. talent talent mungu amewapatia mm -hmm. whichever talent whichever sport mm -hmm. wawe na passion mm -hmm. wawe committed mm -hmm. wawe ready to train mm -hmm. hizi vitu zingine sasa bila ziko yeah. sitaingia tu mm -hmm. kwa sababu hata siku hizi netball mm -hmm. pia wanakuwa scouted kwenda nje kwenda na ni kwenda nje kama uko in discipline mm -hmm. kama unapenda bangi mm -hmm. kama upendi mazoezi mm -hmm. yeah uh, kwa upande wako Dorothy utaambia vipi vijana wa leo vijana wa leo kitu mimi ningependa ninge kuwaelezea mm. discipline discipline wawe na discipline ni thamu ni mm. kwa sababu ukiwa na discipline mm -hmm. unaweza kwenda mbali kabisa na la pili mm. wako na bahati no. kwa sababu wamepata minister of sports mm -hmm. na na watu wa knock no, no, no. wana wa support mm -hmm. vile dadangu amesema mm -hmm. enzi yetu mm -hmm. ilikuwa tu ofisi ya minister of sports peke yake mm -hmm. ilikuwa na mm -hmm. inatugarimia mm -hmm. na makampuni no. like mimi nikitoka kama kampuni fulani na, na represent national team mm -hmm lazima officials wetu wanakuja kwa kampuni yangu Aha. to sponsor yes. the same time the yeah. same na Kenya Airways mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Airport Authority hivyo 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 mm -hmm. so mimi kitu ninge uh, elezea wasichana wetu ni discipline discipline na wapende game yao kabisa love your netball mm -hmm. kama uja love your netball love your country mm -hmm. love your country to hear love your country mm -hmm. kwa sababu wakiwa na wakicheza netball vizuri na flag ya netball ipepe juu uh -huh. unajua haisemekani uh -huh. chair lady uh -huh. wa Kenya Netball Federation uh -huh. ama secretary uh -huh. ni flag bendera ya Kenya inapepea na discipline uh -huh. discipline na ku respect wale wachezaji wao wa zamani uh -huh. ku respect officials wao uh -huh na wataendelea. Naam, nidhamu na heshima. Mm -hmm. uh, Lilian Anupi tukirejelea kwa federation yenyewe netball na management yote kwa ujumla. Kumbuka netball ni mchezo ambao umekuwa sua miaka za hivi majuzi. Sijui kuna mikakati ambazo umepanga na kuna malengo ambayo mmeyaweka na malalamishi ambayo mko nayo. Um, kwa wakati huu mm -hmm. Mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu mm -hmm. eh, national team mm -hmm. inakuwa catered for. Mm -hmm. So those concern mm -hmm. should just make sure they select the best players. The best players. The best players mm -hmm. and then they train them. Mm -hmm. and they can perform because mm -hmm. in those days when we were we were not being sponsored so much by no and the ministry had so many disciplines. Yes and some of like netball we were not being sponsored much mm. but we used to play mm -hmm. and the, in africa mm -hmm. there's no team that could beat kenya or uganda mm. and that's why mm -hmm. i keep on telling you mm -hmm. someone who is saying kenya didn't go far kenya mm -hmm. went far uganda went far. far we made the south and uh, central southern african countries mm -hmm. to decide to be on their own because yes. there's no year they want a trophy. Mm -hmm. Twende Zimbabwe, twende Zambia, twende Wapi, mm -hmm. twende South Africa, mm -hmm. Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. No. Kenya, Uganda, Uganda Tanzania. Tanzania. So they decided in 1995 mm -hmm. when they started when we were in Zimbabwe 1994 mm -hmm. that now they want to break to be on their own. Mm -hmm. 95, 96, ah uh, 97 they decided mm -hmm. to be on their own. So there was yes. Kosana. No and then those east africa uh -huh. so east africa we remain only three countries uh -huh. 
But Zambia uh -huh. used to come and play this side because uh -huh. they wanted to learn more, more. from us. Uh -huh. But the tables turned uh -huh. upside down. When now South Africa was strong enough, now they started to broom themselves. Uh -huh. Now they had sponsors, they had money, uh -huh. so now they overtook us. Uh -huh. But in our days, uh -huh. it was Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. Uh -huh. And then these other Southern, Central and Southern African countries mm -hmm. decided to be on their own. They called themselves Kosana. Yeah. And we called it ourselves East Africa. Mm -hmm. It's just recently when now we started again playing together. Nam, again, mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. Now we have seen uh, South Africa, Sasaivi Wana, host yeah. World Cup, yeah. Yeah, netball, mm -hmm. kwa mara ya kwanza yeah. in Africa. Kuyo yeah. kumanisha kwamba enzi hizo. Paka munge, netball ingeendelea kuwa netball mpaka sasa hivi. Yeah, tunge, tungekua mahali ambapo. Tungekua ambako. mahali mbaya sana. Mm. Sujui uh, mikakati iko, iko vipi? Now we are trying. Mm -hmm. They are trying. Those who are in the office up there. Mm -hmm. They are trying to make sure mm -hmm. that the teams uh, part, participate to restore our lost glory. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kwa upande wa Dorothy. Yolo, yolo, our glory is lost but sasa hivi tunataka irudi je tutafanya vipi uh -huh. ama katika netball sasa hivi kuna mipango gani je kuna imefika mashuleni ipo mm -hmm. je kuna mipango ya ku, zile grassroots kuhakisha kwamba talanta zinachukuliwa kumbuka kuna KSSA Kenya Secondary School mm -hmm. Sports yeah. mm -hmm. e, kuna hiyo michezo kwamba pia kuna netball ambao wanacheza mm -hmm. na ni talanta kubwa sana na kuna timu ambazo zipo huko Nairobi na nyanja za county e, it, mikakati iko vipi ya kuwachukua na kuwaleta hapa na kuhakikisha kwamba mchezo umeimarishwa nyinyi kama kocha makocha mmeimarisha michezo ya hawa makinda oh asante sana mm -hmm. uh, kwanza ninge mshukuru minister wetu wa sports yeah. juzi nilimuo, niliona yeye kwa runinga mm -hmm. upande wa homa bay huko ndani yeah. kabisa akienda kuhudhuria hizi games football mm -hmm ya hawa watoto wa wachanga wachanga eh, hawa. Mm. na akasema jambo moja hao mm. hao ma counties mm -hmm. wakue waki waki host hizo mm. ma tournaments hizi za ya mm -hmm. ya ground mm -hmm. ambaye pande ya mm -hmm. rusinga wanakuwa nayo every year rusinga eh, pande mm -hmm. ya rusinga huko mm -hmm. wanakuwa na every year mm -hmm. lakini sasa shida ilikuwa mm -hmm. Hawa watoto wamekuwa talented mm -hmm. na hizo games zao and they are so good. Mm -hmm. Tunaweza kuwa groom namna gani mm -hmm. tuwalete paka kwa national team. Mm -hmm. Iyo ndio kitu minister alisema. Mm -hmm. watoto wacheze kwa hiyo ma county zao, mm -hmm. province, we province, county zao, county zao, county national, alafu hapa national ndio mm -hmm. wakuwa ki select mm -hmm. the best kabisa ambaye mimi kitu ningesema tu mm -hmm. vile minister alisema mm -hmm. magovernors wetu mm -hmm. wa support yeah. netball mm -hmm. kwa mashule mm -hmm. iko kabisa kwanza tuanza na primary mm -hmm. schools mm -hmm. alafu anakuwa na games za intersecondary schools mm -hmm. hawa watoto wangekuwa wanachaguliwa hivyo yeah. na vile ulisikia tukaisema the problem ambayo imetokea mm -hmm. makampuni si nyingi zilianguka mm -hmm. So hakuna employment kabisa. Na kama hakuna hiyo employment, mm hawa -hmm. wasichana wetu, hawa mm -hmm. hata tukiwachukua mm -hmm. tuwalete kwa national team. Mm -hmm. Na waendelee. Mm -hmm. Na shukuru sana timu ka, kampuni kama Kenya Prison. Mm -hmm. Kenya Air Force, Kenya mm -hmm. Defense mm -hmm. wana wa employ. Mm -hmm. Hata wasichana wengi wengi wale wale wametoka mashinani, mm -hmm. wengi wao mm -hmm. sasa hiyo kwa prison kabisa. There are staff there. Mm -hmm wengine wako kwa jeshi. Hata mm -hmm. makampuni zingine inatakana kitu kama hiyo minister angesema mm -hmm. wale watoto talented mm -hmm. kwa hizi ma games za netball ambayo wametolewa kwa majinani mm -hmm. wakaletwa kwa national. Mm -hmm. Tusiwawache tu hivyo kabisa. We, we look for something ama labda kuna wengine ni werevu mm -hmm. wamesoma. Naam. Mm -hmm. division za hizo magrade zao nzuri mm -hmm. we can sponsor them kabisa. 
Wapele, eh, wapeleka hata kama ni hata kama ni universities, ma technical colleges. Akimaliza pale anaweza kupata hata kampuni hata hata kazi hapa kwenye. Kuliko tu wanacheza up to that level. Wanaacha. Alafu tunawaacha. Alafu mm. anarudi anapata mimba, mm -hmm. anaza. Mm -hmm. Sasa zingine ukikutana nao ndio unamkuta eh hata amezeka atakushinda wewe. Kukushinda. Paka unamuuliza <laughs> what happened. Mm -hmm. Sio mlikata kutuandika. Ndio hiyo. Asif, mm. sisi kama makoches tuko na makampuni zetu. Mm. So mimi kitu ningesema tu mm. tuanze na mashinani. Mm. Tukuje kwa national. national mm. Wakisha chukulio kwa national. Mm. Ata labda hamefika hapo national. Mm. Hamecheza. Mm. Alikuwa nasoma. Mm. Hamepata hiyo grade yake. Mm. Ata sikuizi ni, 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 ni mependa sana government ambayo liondoka. Mm. Hii mpia rafukiri watafuata hiyo. Mm. Mtoto bora amesoma. Ata kipata hii. Mm. Lazima umpeleke mahali. Hajifunze. Kabisa. Ndiyo akitoka pale. Mm. Akue na kitu chake anaza kufanya. Mm -hmm. Ata labda kiwa na business yake, anaweza kufanya hiyo business yake uh -huh. na naform a team of netball. Ata uh hapo -huh. marikiti, dada dili ya ntungie marikiti tutafute team. Uh -huh. Wawa mamamboga hawa. Na, wamamboga. Wamamboga hawa. Mtengeneze team ya netball. Mtengeneze team ya netball. Ah. Kwa sababu <laughs> minister, yeah. he's ready to support every sports. Kabisa. Every sports. Mm -hmm. So, I think, I don't know, kama umta, ata governor wetu atatusikia. Mm hmm. Ata, ata tusikia. Ata tusikia. Ata tusikia. Anaomba, tusikia. Anaomba, Anaomba sana support. tusikie. Tumwa, wambie, kwa sababu he's a, a very young boy. And very and young boy. Mm. Very, uh, na mina mpenda. Kabisa. And tunaomba Saka. our... Atu support. Mm -hmm. Women representatives. Ah. Women representatives. To come up and support mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. in sports. Mm -hmm. Whatever sports. Nam. They come up and support us like... Homa B. Mm. Gladys Wanga. Kabisa. She's doing so well. Ndiyo hiyo. Mm. Kwa hiyo, uh, tuki, tuki ondoka sasa. Lomda sekunde thalathini, thalathini. Uh, maneno tu ya mwisho ya kuambia o, watu ambao wanajiusisha katika netboli. Kwa ujumla. Tuanze na Lilian. Thank you. Mm. Naomba wale mm. waze wakazi. Wale wacheza netball kitambo. Mm. Kwa hiyo ulicheza kwa up to club level or a national level, East mm. Africa, Africa, mm. and the world. Mm. Don't just sit in your house or from work, you can't sit in the house. Mm -hmm. Train. Mm -hmm. Train and come up with the teams wherever you are, whichever country mm -hmm. or sub-country, mm -hmm. sub-county, sorry. Mm -hmm. come, with the, uh, come up with the teams mm -hmm. now that we want to go ahead and live in East Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have agreed to be playing. Mm -hmm to have a championship for golden or this, that are my veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, we have gone up to even Namibia, our grid, mm -hmm. uh, Ghana, and so on. Nice. They also want to come up. They have, they have mm -hmm. copied a leaf from us. Mm -hmm. they also, they are ready. Mm -hmm. So every netballer, wherever you are, train. Mm -hmm. Train so that when we want to go out, we have a good team mm -hmm. of those who used to play, and they can play. Mm -hmm and we perform mm -hmm. and deliver because and we appeal to the minister mm -hmm. and the national olympic committee mm -hmm. our governors mm -hmm. our women rep representatives mm -hmm. any leader who loves sports mm -hmm. to support us Zuri. Yeah. You've, you've said um, also mama mboga can join the golden oldies yeah, where we can have they mama mboga. find where you kweyo uh, Doris wa kupate wapi mitandao ama wapi haswa training ground mali watakupata uh, kama saa hii mm. uh, vile sisi tuna train uh, mm -hmm. hapo Ouro mm. lakini kunita, kunipata vizuri mm -hmm. Tumeanza, tulianza tunataka tulianza team yetu hapo makongeni Makongeni. secondary Aha. ya wakina mama wakina no. mama mm -hmm. so kama wanatutaka hata mm -hmm. tunaweza kuwapatia namba zetu no. watupigie mm -hmm. ambaye tutakuambia alafu uandike mm -hmm. wakuje mm -hmm. naweza zisema hewani namba wata wale watanipata nayo mm -hmm. na 0721 23 44 61 
ama 0738 23 800 5 yone airtel naam aha lila na nupi asante um namba yangu ya simu ni 0720451441 na wanaweza tupata uhuru kinyata sports complex is between uh, jerusalem and uhuru estates Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, ukipana tu gari namba 23 mm-hmm. inaitwa ROG. Mm-hmm. ROG at Gill House. Mm-hmm. We train Fridays and mm-hmm. Saturdays mm-hmm. from 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. So they will get us there. Aha. Uh-huh. Eh, Uhuru Kinyata Sports Complex. The field is situated between Jerusalem and Uhuru Estate. Ha, gari Zuk. namba 23 matatu namba 23 from Gill House. Kwa hiyo matatu namba 23 from Gill House itakupeleka mpaka kwa Liliana Nupi Makongeni utampata utampata Dorothy hapa mtajumuika pamoja mcheze e, manake wanasema michezo ni yetu haijalishi nyaka a, miaka ambazo uko nazo unaweza kajiunga na hawa ma veterans ambao wanazidi kucheza. Nadhani umetarabadi kipindi chetu. Kwa hiyo nashukuru Lilia na Nupi na Dorothy kwa kutenga muda wenu na kujumuika na sisi hapa ili kuwaambia watazamaji wa wetu pamoja na watu ambao ni wakubwa haswa katika michezo ambapo ambao wanaweza husika moja kwa moja e, kuwashika mkono kuhakikisha kwamba Golden Oldies pia wanajihusisha e, katika viwango mbalimbali via netball. Kwa hiyo nawashukuru na pia kukushukuru wewe mtazamaji. Ah mimi sina lingine la ziada tutapatana tena eh, Ijumaa ijayo papa hapa eh, ku, kuzungumzia masuala ya wanadada eh, katika sport. Sisi tunatoka kwa sasa.